new iPhone app alert called Double Take, where you can record with two different cameras at one time with higher bit rates in 24 frames per second. So exciting. Hello all, I hope you're doing great today. My name is Sarah Dici, rhymes with peachy if you're new around here. Today we have a bit of tech news involving the iPhone and Filmic Pro. We're seeing this really exciting time where not only cool tools on your phone are helping you create quality content, but it's really cool to see the platforms influencing editing. I mean, these youngsters, these 12 year olds on TikTok are coming up with some really cool creative stuff that even I'm kind of jealous of. It's like, my brain doesn't work that way. They're kind of killing it. So this is kind of in the same realm as that, although Double Take is for you professionals, more of the professional crowd that is maybe a journalist, maybe a vlogger on the go, any type of YouTuber. I'm excited for uh, my boyfriend John to get a hold of this because he is a 100% iPhone content creator. All of his YouTube vlogs twice a week are all filmed with the iPhone in the native camera app. Um, and if you guys are familiar with Filmic Pro, you can split up the exposure and focus. You can also manually control the white balance. Um, you can do a lot of cool things, but you can also change the frame rates to 24 frames per second, which I think is more true to uh, what the eye sees. So that's why I film everything in 24 frames per second. And if you guys didn't know, here's a little pro tip. Now they updated this with iPhones. You can actually change frame rates in cam app and you just tap it and it goes in between 30 frames per second and 60 frames per second. You can also do that in slow-mo in between 120 and 240. Did you know that you're already learning so much and we haven't even talked what I want to talk about. I'm getting off topic. Okay, so this is the first look at Double Take. Now this is a free app, which is great. So you can already from the get-go see why it's called Double Take. There's two angles, so cool. So let's walk through this app. If you click this lens, it'll basically pop up every single lens on the iPhone. So um, this is pretty exciting because iPhone now has an ultra wide, a wide and a telephoto lens. The wide camera lens is definitely going to be the best in terms of quality, but I've been getting some really cool stuff with the ultra wide. And then you have that selfie cam, hello. So you can see pretty easily that we have ultra wide, wide, telly, and then the selfie. And you can pick what two cameras you're using to film at the same time. So let's say I wanna do the ultra wide and the wide. We're going to press confirm and then look. Now you have the ultra wide angle down in the square, which we're gonna call a pip, picture in picture. And then you have the normal wide up top. Well, how is it recording, you ask? So you go up to the right hand corner and there are three different modes. You have split screen. Oh my gosh, watch out. And so this is gonna come in handy. You can get really creative with this, right? Say I'm doing an interview, I'm doing a podcast. Let's film camera A is gonna be a wide and then camera B is going to be selfie. I hit confirm and boom. I basically put it in a tripod in between me and my subject. I would hit record and I start my interview. Um, microphone, how is your life being an SM7B, one of the most popular microphones by podcasters? What do you have to say for yourself? Well, you would think a microphone would have more to say. So you can imagine how cool this is gonna be for journalists, for on the go podcasters. I mean, this is pretty cool, right? So what you see in split screen, that's how the file is gonna turn out. You press this little SD card and look, if we view the file. SM7B, one of the most popular microphones by podcasters. What do you have to say for yourself? You can scroll through it. And so this is where uh, Filmic keeps all of your video files and you have to actually select it and then hit this button in order to export to your camera roll. So you would basically say, save two videos, okay. And then if you go to your camera roll, oh, you guys hear those sirens? And then here it pops up in your camera roll. So you just like to keep things separate because it'll put it in its own folder if you decide to export it to your computer or something. But here it pops up in your camera roll and you're good to go. Okay, so that is split screen, which is uh, pretty cool, right? In all of these modes, look at that. They adjust for vertical mode. So yes, vertical video, super important. And you just post it straight to socials. Hey guys. So let's talk about the two other modes. You hit it again. This is discrete mode. Again, you can choose between the two different angles. So let's go with the ultra wide and the selfie. 
And then I'm gonna put the ultra wide actually as a cam, if you see how I just ch changed that, um, so that my selfie can be in the, the little box in the corner. I'm gonna hit record. Say I'm just talking to someone and I'm recording them, but I also wanna record me asking the questions. This is going to record this as two separate files. So when you save them, they're two full HD files that you can edit on your own. You can choose what you want to do with them. So when I press the record button again, and then I go into my saved videos. If you see, they will pop up as two separate files. So I have my wide angle, and then I also have my selfie angle. And you can edit them as you choose. You can also adjust which ones that you see by just hitting these arrows. If you wanna blow that up shrink it. Another use case for this is you're out in the streets in New York and you want to get a wide, but also at the same exact time, get a tele shot, which is a zoomed in shot. But guess what? Like we're using two different lenses, so they're going to be good in quality. It's not just you zooming in and post. So I'm shooting the streets of New York. Wow. But then I can cut to this tele shot and it's the same white balance. It's the same settings. So every everything seems super consistent, right? And the final mode, so we're going to hit this one more time, is PIP. And this is where this app gets crazy cool if it's not crazy cool already. I'm actually going to put the ACAM as the ultra wide because how these are configured is super important in the PIP mode. So I'm gonna put the selfie as B because what you see on the screen is what you get when you record. So for example, I'm gonna hit record. Hey guys, what's up? I'm gonna show you a quick little tour of my office. Look at that. And then, you know, I'm gonna stop talking. So I'm actually just gonna flick myself off the screen. And so this can be all focused on the epic office. Actually, my office is clean, so I actually do want to show you that. Um, I wonder if I can full screen. Yeah, okay. So here I go. I just want to talk to you guys now. I asked Filmic about certain features because obviously this got my brain going. I was like, what? It'd be so cool if you do that and then like, you know, have more choices for frame rates. This is just the beginning for them. Obviously, this is the free version. So uh, down the line, they might be adding this into Filmic or maybe just adding more features into the double take app um, that are maybe like in-app purchases, which uh, could be cool, but I'm glad that they put this at the free price point because I feel like there's no reason why anyone won't download this, you know? Okay, buy Pip or have Pip. So it's doing the animations live. Whatever I do with the Pip, it's gonna animate on the screen. And so as you can tell, this is gonna be really cool if maybe you're, you know, you wanna send a travel video to your family and you wanna say, hey guys, what's up? Cause they wanna see you. I could see how this will be really cool for just creating on socials, making a quick Twitter, Instagram video for my peeps, for you guys to show just some out and about cool tech stuff. I can imagine me going vertical mode. You know, I was just at CES. So at CES and I could be like, guys, listen, look at this. This is the new Samsung T7. Look how cool this is. And it does this and that. And then maybe it's not as important for my face to be on it. So I'm showing them and then I bring myself back up. But guys, look, Look, I mean, I'm saying a lot of pointless words, but you guys get it, right? So let me know what you think. It was cool to talk with the filmic people um, because it sounds like things really changed with the most recent iPhones, the A13 bionic chip, um, just the sheer power um, and the blend of, you know, Apple having control of the hardware, software, um, and the actual chip. So that is the new Double Take app. Uh, let me know what you guys think. I'm gonna film just like a little vlog to end this video using this app. I gotta show you the setup we have here. So of course there's the peach in the background, um, but if you can see, we have two aperture lights over here. Um, this guy is on a proper C stand, but that one is stripped. So I think you'll find it kind of humorous What's it, what it's on. It's on two Super 73 bikes uh, balancing because yeah, and that's kind of the setup and boom, there we go. We have just stumbled on the secret skate park in Brooklyn behind this abandoned building and we're gonna have some fun on these crazy obstacles.
So this video is sponsored by my podcast. If you don't, click on the link in the description below and listen to my podcast, That Creative Life. I'm gonna be so sad. Have you clicked on it yet? If you're still here, I mean, that's a bad sign because you should already, I mean, you could check out some more videos. I talked about why two-in-ones are so cool. So there's a video on that. I am about to release a video about the best note-taking app that you've ever seen. So you might want to stick around for that. But really at the end of the day, you should listen to my podcast. Let me know if you like this video. Hit that subscribe button down below for new videos every single week. And until next time, guys, stay peachy. Okay, bye. It's getting harder to reach. Okay, bye. Bye.